Hello everyone, I am the engineer from the ESOS technical team. You may often encounter common problems such as insufficient disk space, partition layout adjustment, disk optimization, and cleanup. Our ESOS Partition Master software is designed to provide easier, more professional, and user-friendly services for disk partition management. With ESOS Partition Master, you can adjust disk partitions, migrate systems, clone disks, convert disk types, optimize disks, restore partitions, and more. This video will show you how the software works, so let's get started. The first step in using the software is to activate it. You only need to paste the license code into the activation box to activate it successfully. You can right click on the disk or partition on the interface to select the operation. You can also select the operation through the function area on the right side of the interface. The Migrate OS function transfers Windows related partitions from one hard disk to another to accomplish the system transfer. The clone function has two modes, disk clone and partition clone, which makes an identical copy of the disk or partition. Partition Recovery Wizard is an easy to use tool with which you can recover volumes from the unallocated space on a disk that were accidentally deleted or damaged due to a hardware or software failure. The WinPE Creator is designed to create a bootable device to run the software in a situation where the computer won't boot. System Optimize is a tool to keep your system clean and fast. It helps you remove unused files from the system and clean your internet history. For basic disk, you can use software to convert to dynamic disks and perform MBR GPT interconvert. Besides partitioning and merging operations are useful and sufficient in most cases. Compared to the basic disk, the dynamic disk can perform slightly less because of Windows restrictions. However, most of the daily operations are supported. As an example, let me demonstrate a partition resize operation to show how the software works. First, we select the e-partition and click on the resize option on the right. Then, long press the small dot on the right side of the partition and drag it to the size of the partition you expect. You can also fill in the parameters to determine the partition size. After this, click on OK and you will see one pending operation appears here. The final step is the actual execution. By the way, no matter what operations you do, the last step is to click Apply in the same way. You can modify the language and turn automatic software updates on or off in the system options. If you have technical problems, you can also click here to send us an error report or contact us directly. That's all for the video. If you have more questions, please feel free to contact us by the email address on the screen. Thank you for watching.